Welcome back, one and all. And some more hells of Sim... Hells of Simonia. Hells of Sestaria. I don't know how it got Simonia out of Sestaria. <laughs> okay. Good job, me. So last time, what did we do? Um... I don't remember. A lot of optional stuff, I believe. Like, a lot of optional stuff. So before we do anything, I want to jump to a couple places. No, I want to jump to... Um... Where do I want to jump to? I am going to jump back here where am I Bird, I don't really care about you. So there's a couple optional things we can do, and we're gonna do them. This aroma. Focus, guys. Step back. So you think I could use that weapon? What did I even get? I think that gives me focus. Cool. Can't do anything here. Okay. Yeah, I just missed something. I think I might have missed out on it. I was gonna do some optional stuff, but I think I might have missed it. Because I was looking at the uh, FAQ for optional stuff. There's apparently something here. But I think I might have missed it. Which is a bit of a pain. I'm gonna check, um, Elisa's house real quick. See if I can trigger anything there. Um, Lady Lake. It'd be the same if I missed it, but it might be a very strict timing thing. Because you know how... You know how RPGs go. They like to be real strict in their timing. Hi, Maven. I 
Like, I could just outright missed it. How's this for a start? Strawberry waffle. Strawberry waffle. Yeah, I think I missed it. Wait, that's. I got a ribbon. Well, that's lame. I guess I had. What does L1 say? R1, you mean. And I can't do anything with you yet. Yeah, I think because I triggered this uh, event, I can't actually do anything else. Which is a massive pain of butt. Because I see who the boss was going to be for this, and I wanted to fight that boss. Saray, look around you. Hello? I got a genius in staff. Alright. Um. Well, I saw the boss that was supposed to be around, uh, Lady Lake. I guess who I wanted to fight. Just a second. Alright. I guess we're doing this. We'll have to wait for nightfall to sneak into the castle. Why don't we chill at the inn for a bit? Sir, I don't think there's a whole lot else I could do. Is this acceptable? Thank you for that. Mango sorbet. Oh, to say points ever? Like ever? Okay. I 
properly gig. Yeah, the castle's over here. You know, the castle's over here. Well, I can't go that way. Somebody put a bunch of stuff in the way. Ah, more stuff in the way. Well, you want me to go, Rose? Go that way. I probably need to go in there. Do I need to do something down here? What's your current success? I feel like there's success over here, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll go there in a second. There might be something Aha! nearby. Eighteen thousand gold, 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 gold. It's all the same thing. Actually, what's over here? Anything cool over here? No? Nothing cool? Why is, why is the hats doing that? I, I don't think that's what the hats are supposed to be doing. It's freaking out. Oh, a hat go here. Well, if it ain't the boss. Welcome, welcome. Lunar! But you look like... a Hellion! <laughs> oh dear, look at that face! You're scaring me, boss! We don't have time to toy with the likes of you. Come on! I'll settle this right here and now. <laughs> what exquisite anger! It makes me so... hungry! Here he comes! The malevolence he emits is incredibly strong. You mean it's just like with the Cardinal before? But, uh, Don't think about anything else until we beat him. Got it. It's not often you see a seraph using a staff like a club. I mastered it while practicing with Saray. 
It's got the reach you'd need to win, since he's taller. That's not the reason why. But the height. That's not it. That was a boss. He got absolutely murdered. Damn it! Still not enough? It's the end of the line, Lunar. No! Got it! What is this feeling? Watch out! There's someone else here! Might you refrain from acting out of turn? That voice! Shut up! Don't interfere with me! Foolish, reckless fox. Your role was to lead them on, if you recall. If you act recklessly and provoke his anger, what will we do then? <sighs> Wait! This wasn't the plan, but I'm flexible. Whoa! What the? There's a lot of them now. Oh. You know, I would like to cast stuff. Make it gasoline. Thank you, Gasol. You'd better go after him, or you'll lose him, girl. Surely you won't let him get away with such a vile betrayal. Then that so-called job offer... It was a trap! Damn it! Quit messing around and show yourself! <laughs> What's your hurry? Relax. This is just the opening act. I'll relax when you're good and dead. Tezel, do you know whose voice that is? How could I forget? That's who I've been after for so long. What? Haven't you noticed, Lila? I have. There is no malevolence within this domain. Meaning that whoever's generating this isn't a Hellion. What could this mean? Chocolate and waffle. Enough, all right. Come on, let me out. His will is not to be ignored. Do I make myself clear? Yes. I I'm sorry. Lunar! Yeah. What is going on? Rather productive for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl. If it should blossom into hatred. Oh, but how happy he will be. Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe. For both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Wind Riders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dazzle? <laughs> Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? D 
Splendid. Oh, how splendid. <laughs> the perfect scene has been set. Jessel, no! Let me go. This moment is what I've been living for. Everyone stop. This whole thing is wrong. Saray, Dazzle, what's going on? Dear, dear girl, let me fill you in. In a desperate effort to preserve and continue the Windriders, who were his last concrete connection to his dead comrade, this Seraph abused your remarkable resonance to periodically commandeer your body, steering you all into the darkness, recreating the Windriders as an assassin's guild. Then, in his quest to kill a Hellion, he set his sights on the power of the Armatus, using you over and over as a vessel to enact his vengeance. It was all right, he thought. It was all to avenge his friend. I do wonder if you agree. <gasps> That's right. And to take my revenge against you, I would do it all again in a heartbeat! That's enough, creepy little girl, for now. Yeah, there's something wrong about all of this. Let's get out of here! I think not. She became a Hellion? Why? If words alone won't make you remember. Well, like I said, I'm flexible. So, you show your true colors at last. Dang it! I'm gonna kill you! That's the only reason I live! Oh, how lost you are in the delusion of self-affirmation. What are you saying? It's quite pitiful, really. Though I do understand how you got like this. Think hard. What was it that you truly desired? Back then, how and why did you lose your friend? After killing a Hellion, what happens to its malevolence? Are you really so sure you want this to be your vengeance? Shut up! That is well! Try and remember. Lila, get ready to purify her! Not this time. I'm gonna kill her! Dizzle! <laughs> what? You mustn't! There's no other way. No! He's broken the path? Jezzel! Tisk, Tisk. I can't let you do that. What? But why? Saray, this isn't the time! All right! <laughs> Again, I can manipulate the senses of others, deceive them through illusion. So when it looked like you'd suddenly turned into a Hellion, precisely. Though for the record, the Hellion was real. Lila, use the authority of the Prime Lord to stop Dazzle. I can't. The Sub Lord has broken the pact. Can that even be done? Not usually. It can't be done from the Sub Lord's side. My, my, this is getting interesting. Lord of Fight! Crimson Flame! Make it burn your soul! Tell me what it is you're after! There is something you should know, Shepard. What? Let me show you exactly what mischief your Seraph friend has wrought. Thank you. All he did was merely give his blessing. That's all. But not every blessing of the Seraphim is one that brings fortune to the people. Finally! Finally, I can kill you! Die! I really, really enjoy traveling with them. We're so lucky. Yeah, I'm truly grateful.
And of course, I want to bring the Wind Riders under Rolens' wing. You're the greatest in the land. But engagement to you, Prince Conan? It's like a dream. I'm sorry to see our journey end, but all's well that ends well. No. I don't want this to end. Don't let up out there! Go! Prince Conan! The captain is missing! Get away from her right now! <laughs> Who are you to order me around? He's... he's already a hellion! Huh? Who are you talking to? You all smell so... so delicious! It's driving me wild! How could he have completely turned into a hellion in such a short amount of time? Your Highness, what is this nonsense about us killing the first Imperial Prince? Guards! The traitor scum are here! A trap, huh? You sick lunatic! How can this be? It appears that Brad, the leader of the Wind Riders, has murdered the Prince. He is already in custody of the Pendrago City Guard. All other Wind Riders are likewise under arrest. Understand? It's all because Prince Conan became a Hellion. And at the urging of his Hellion greed, he sought to eliminate all hindrances. And by now, I imagine that you've already guessed what made him a Hellion. Have you not? Him. I might be willing to pardon you, at least, if you'll agree to be mine. What? <laughs> oh, come now. You'd be the kept woman of the heir to the throne! A greater honor does not exist. <sighs> Why you? Come on! Your blessing. Do you have any idea what people call those with this kind of power? Angels of death. It was all my fault. All my fault. Looks like someone finally remembers his past. Rose! Jezel! Move it! <laughs> and now the real fun starts, Shepard. Pay close attention.
You mustn't attack now! Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion! Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A Shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, Shepherd. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Silence! Hold it, Sorry. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Soray, listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepard, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! I can summon up the last reserves of my strength and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet. I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! Counting on you. Don't mess this up. Bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really? Hey, come on. There's gotta be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And... That one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this... Tell him, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. 
and then give him a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core, and deserving of extermination? Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable Seraph. Burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <laughs> I need a bit of a walk myself. Bezel's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation, so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel.
friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either! So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Lila, what are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. Alright then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go.
Hey, Shepard. Tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? He was smiling. So, he was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. Zavid? You knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him, when he was just a little rascal. Oh. Is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep. He learned by copying me. And yet, I don't think he even remembered who I was. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. Hmm. <laughs> but if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? Hey, are you trying to comfort me, Zavid? You bet I am. You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. Huh? And on that note, I think I'll go talk to Lila about that Sublord Pact. You gotta be kidding me! Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? And besides, if I tag along with you, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. You can't just decide something like that! Oops, I did. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Sheps. That lousy... Saray. Huh? Back there, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. And when I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. I had met him before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since, my whole life. Rose, Dezel didn't want you to know that. He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. But I actually wish he'd just straight up told me, without knowing I was a jerk, self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. Sorry. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, alright? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Yeah, I don't know. A whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow, it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting? I think it says more about her problems than anything else. Rose, you're my hero. Oh, I just don't like to think too much. <laughs> anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will. Saray, did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray! No, oh, Zavid, you're still here. Ouch! Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other... Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? 
It can't be. I didn't think it could be either. At first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose. He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, oh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. All righty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. I didn't want to say anything during that whole thing. That's very, very different from, um, anime. You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh, ho, ho. you doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry. Jeez. We get how strong you are, but what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The Shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. All right, then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and Shepherds. <laughs> Well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after all. You know, you can always count on me. Somehow, I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? Hey, now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against Earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is- This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. 
Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, Please, let me marry your little sister! And he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on, he'd totally do something like that. Fine, don't tell me then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. It all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah, and I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using seraphic arts, you can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper and Dezel's pendulum has been using earth and minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way, if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. Well... That was quite me a skit. A lot of stuff happened. Suddenly there's a Norman here. Art hack. Somehow I missed this guy this entire time. It's kinda of hilarious. A 
Unless you just now soak up. Okay. It's not where I want to go. Guess I'll go from here. So then, now what do we do? Oh yeah, Savid's here. I guess he hates all the yeah he hates all the stuff from um what's his name? Gasol. like Keldolf wasn't in Glavent. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. I guess I just can never go back camp now or something. So, Kadrago, huh? Southwest. I guess the best place to go is to here. I'm gonna go here. I want to see if there's an optional boss up here. Because there was in um the Earth Shrine. Why would you ask me to make snacks like this? <laughs> it does mean we have to run all the way up here, so there's that. Anyone up here? Yes, there is an optional boss.
Glad I could check that. Name? What a pretty name. But she goes right for the throat all the time. I can see she- Oh my god, I die. He sure likes to make things miserable for others. No, you're not gonna revive me? Okay. this new foul action I got. It did say I got a new foul action, right? Okay. Well, um, that was the wind and earth out of the way. I guess we could go check, um, water, and then we could check fire. Hey, more HP for me. What level am I level 53? Alright, let's go to... Where's the water? Luffe. There is a boss in here. I shall protect everyone. Trick stars. Pretty tough for being so small. Fight the mischievous ones. Little ones are definitely the worst. Like you? I'm not that short. Shut my mouth! 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 Shut my
Zavid. Well, you know what they say. You can never be too strong. Well, that's that out of the way. I'm going to fire shrine. See what horrible thing awaits me there. I gotta go southwest of Pendrago. All right, fire shrine. Huh? There's nothing here. Interesting. Can't go back up. All right, so somewhere at Ivory's, huh? No, not Ivory. What if you're so fair? Very good to surf it. Also, um, in case you happen, in case you missed it, none, you, you may notice a certain someone's not with us anymore. Yeah, that's completely different from, uh, the anime. Where? Where is? Where is Helldoll? Southwest of Pendrago. No. No. The anime and the game are similar to a degree. But I won't spoil anything about the anime. Uh, let's go to Ivory. This domain, it's so strong. Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. The final showdown, huh? I think we found Heldolf. I say watch the anime, because it's honestly pretty good. There's a lot of court stuff. I don't really need. There it. must be herbs around here. Yeah, probably up there. I, sir. Gonna make me go all the way around. I see the herb. Health off is somewhere. Health off can wait until I get these herbs. I'm not gonna get those herbs, am I? Sir? You don't want to mess with me, sir. I will nuke you.
You sure are strange, Saray. Really? Definitely weird. You're also really not weird. Stupid more. Hmm. Ah. Saray, look carefully. At oh, you're gonna give me a hack power. At the ground. Oh, you want to chase me? Oh, there's more herbs up there. Where is Helgoth? Where in the world is Helgoth at? There's Helgoth. There may be some herbs out here. Art defense! Coolio! Be on the lookout for them. Just sitting around here, Maven. Not gonna worry about all the stuff around here. Enemy. Did I never go over here? I've never went over here apparently. There was an enemy hitting me and I didn't realize it. Thank you for strawberry and waffle. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. You don't say. Is that a monolith? Yes, Soray. That is a monolith. All right, let's go. Uh, go meet Mr. Helgoth. So I could go bully him if I wanted to. Everyone randomly makes food. Go away! See? Look. Lila makes food. Rose does. Mikleo. Egg. Egg no, does not. Never mind. Mikleo does not. And now Sophie is just making food. Everyone is making food. Do you just like help? Oh. Whoa, okay, yeah, he's freaky strong. This won't go like last time. I certainly hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all you're doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. How a man who once grieved over the loss of his family could change so completely. It's spooky. Time flows differently for a man who lives in loneliness and sorrow. <laughs> so, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Maltellus? We'll just have to fight him head on. You got a death wish? If not that, then what? Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you? <laughs> What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the shepherd. 
The meeting of the two is, by definition, conflict. Do you not agree? Yeah! Saray! Here he comes, everyone! Go on, Show me what a vessel you are. I won't be pushed over that easily. Yeah, I called for calamity down in the form. Hard to believe you're the same rosy cheeked youth as before. We're making progress, but I got a bad feeling about this. Wonder of Wonders, I agree with you. You like that? Are you happy? Huh? Keep fighting like this, and you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Is that not what you truly wish inside? What? What are you saying? You yearn for it. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy you have created? Lila, it's time to settle this! What's wrong? Saray, if you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack little kitty beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Simone! Yes. Dispose of them. An illusory art! Look out, everyone! You're too late! Finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm, it will do. What have you done, Heldolf? Get ready! Tell me the tables have turned. Victory was close, yet now only anxiety and impending doom. Saray! Don't let your emotions waver. He's Lila! Still you interfere! That Miss Mioma! Lila, Heldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him! Saray, I understand! You've got to help every- You're not getting away! Lion's Howl! Lion's Howl, you say? 
Don't make me laugh. It is to struggle so. What? Simone, release the squire. At once. Ow! What on? Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned, Shepard. No! <laughs> and that was his fatal mistake, wasn't it, Lila? What is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain to humans and seraphim alike. And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Those who resist malevolence and those who embrace it. Who do you think suffers more? The answer should be right in front of you by now. Heldolf! Just because he can't stand the heartache of living, he thinks everyone else is the same way. Shepard Surrey, I repeat once more, join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the Malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions! I refuse. Then let us finish our battle once and for all! I refuse that as well. This is not the time. So you say. But one day you will discover it for yourself. The true nature of humans and Seraphim in this world. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldolf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldolf? Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldolf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel. Then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldolf. 
But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Old Man Maven? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. Yeah, but how are we supposed to find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the ruin of Logren and see what they think. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. All right, all right. Just stop that. Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him. Though, it is a gamble. Ah! Why? Why would you do that game? Oh, you're gonna make me r run all the way there, really? Uh. Uh. Why are you making me run all the way there? Oh my god, that is a long freaking run. Okay, we're going on a run. Thank you, Sophie, for the black stuff that you just made. Sophie, make black stuff. He's not a very good cook, apparently. I don't know if there's... Yeah, I can't get exercise in. I don't know if there's any optional stuff to do right now. That's an elephant. That is a werewolf. Is that a monolith? Oh, no, it's not a monolith. Can't go up there anyway. So why'd you make me run all the way out here, game? Maven! Old man! Hey there, Saray, young lady. You look well. Glad we found you. Have you learned anything about Maltellus? Right down to brass tacks, I see. Nothing much, I'm afraid. Listen, Maven. I do understand this infringes on the taboo. But Saray is the only shepherd we have right now. Please, I ask you to lend him your power so that he may walk his path without regrets. Maven! You can really hear them? Huh? What are you talking about? Storyteller, we need you. I see. So this man is the current storyteller of time. Storyteller? <sighs> you must really be in a bind this time, huh? I won't say we aren't. I shall lend you my power. But you do know what that means, don't you? Yes. You're a scary one, lass. Well, I'm lost. Seriously. Lila, Maven, can someone please explain what's going on? Now, hang on a minute. Do you understand how momentous of a decision you're presenting me with here? Wait a minute. 
Is this the taboo Lila mentioned earlier? That's correct. But as an explorer, I'll give you a bit of advice. If it doesn't all add up, the sensible conclusion is that you're missing a piece somewhere. Also, relics are not only to be found in ruins. Remember that. Are you talking about the Earth and Historia? It's true, we only got bits and chunks out of those. What is it you know? For now, just search and trust your hunches. Everything else starts from there. <sighs> you never could give a straight answer. I'll be sticking around here. Come back once you're satisfied in your search. Got it. We'll be back. Thanks a lot, old man. The side quest. Agil, find anything interesting? Sure did, boss. Remember how you were looking for Iris gems? Earth and Historia! Did you find one? We did, but we were a little late. Someone besides Saray wants them? The guy that brought it is a priest who's studying archaeology. Archaeology? Is he studying ruins? I'm not really sure, but he has published several books. Oh man, that's awesome! I'm interested in his writing. Could you try to stay on topic for once? And who's this researcher? As far as I know, he went to the Litwerg Bearwoods near Plitzerback Wetland for some research. That's pretty dangerous. Though I do understand how he feels. I'm a bit worried. Let's go. So I have, like, other uh, iris gems, huh? Our guy forest, huh? If we can just obtain some mithril, we could have weapons and armor made from it. That's a funny thing they've got here. A doll inside of a doll. Oh? You see them a lot in the north. It's folk art. Hmm. You don't think... Maybe it's meant to symbolize the relationship between Seraphim and humans? Whoa, uh... I wouldn't go overthinking it. But look, they specifically chose this odd configuration. There has to be some meaning behind it, don't you think? Hmm, undoubtedly. So what would you say it means then, having a human inside of a Seraph? Well, maybe... Maybe it represents the distinct personality inside each Seraph? No, hold on. Perhaps, in depicting a fanciful inverse of the typical Seraph and human vessel relationship, it's meant to symbolize coexistence between the two. Zavid, is there anything inside the innermost doll? Huh? Yes. Typically in the very core is... A plumpet. A plumpet? Hmm. Yes, yes, a symbol, of course. But of what? A pit is a seed. A sign of rebirth, perhaps? But then, why a plum? True, some bloom in the spring, but... Hmm. I'm starting to get why you like toying with our boy Mickey here. I know, right? In some ways, he's even more pure than Saray. Such rich philosophy. Very profound. McLeo, please. <laughs> oh my god, McLeo. What's that save point? Oh, hello. I feel like, huh? A holy woman, eh? Huh? Terrifying. Terrifying? Why? A chaste young shepherd boy wouldn't understand, would he? I... I guess not. Why did she... Rose, is the injury you got from him starting to hurt? Oh, no, I'm totally fine. It's just really embarrassing for me to get hurt like that when being kept ransom. No. What's really scary is that he would do such a thing without hesitation. And plus... Simone's reaction. Yes. Her illusions are really something. 
Her skills are quite unusual, but there's something even stranger about her. You mean how she isn't affected by malevolence? Yes. Or rather, how deeply she believes in him from the bottom of her heart. But how could she? When she was shot, she was smiling. How could she trust him so? Only she knows the answer. But Simone has remained a seraph while following the will of Heldolf. That much is true. So then what's really dangerous is how pure she actually is. Pretty ironic. Yeah. So I got a few places I can go now. The storyteller of time, huh? Hmm? You knew about Maven too? Well, you know, he just seemed like a storyteller to me. And when I confronted him about it, it turned out my hunch was correct. That's all. He's pretty well known as a storyteller, especially among Seraphim who have been around for a while. You could have told us about it, you know. Well, it's also a taboo. For both Seraphim and humans. Uh, but what does that entail? Let's focus on collecting the Earth in Historia, Mikleo. Just hearing those stories probably isn't enough. So when you see with your own eyes, you can figure out the truth behind the myth, huh? That's what it's about. Isn't that right? Alright, so... I know that I need to go to here... Who here... And I should be able to fight another boss. Is this the village of the saint? No one's here. Not so sure about that. No one's here, huh, Rose? You don't see this snake lady over here at the distance, do ya? Think he'll have some new stories to tell us about ruins? <laughs> I certainly hope so. Well, I just cut that guy a log off. I'm a statue! No, Sophie, you need to have your stuff set up. Die at all! 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 Die at all!
Can someone unpetrify, you know, Rose? That would be great. No way to unpetrify Rose. I mean, I can't do nothing about the AI being dumb. I'm just gonna sit back here and uh, let Lila do her thing. Why'd you run all the way over here, Soray? You just wanted to check on, um, on Rose. Nice camera, by the way. This is silly. I mean, I could do more damage if, you know, Rose wasn't, you know, a statue. And now she'll raise the statue. Give us a ray! Careful, get back! 
She still had fight left in her? Dang, we couldn't purify her either. Not doing so hot, are we? Hey, wasn't that Hellion? Yeah, it must have been the saint, betrayed by the people she believed in. Medusa-type Hellions tend to be women with high degrees of self-righteousness and hatred. Oh, so that's why you freeze when they glare at you. The saint was a nun. Maybe the church in Pendrago would have some info on her. Let's check it out. We can't have Hellions like that running wild. But don't forget, we need to find the Iris Gem. Yeah, I know. Is our Iris Gem here? Thank you for the butter cookie, Lila. So let's go to Drago. See, it wasn't that bad. Hey, Mr. Shepard, where's Lila and the others? They went to the sauna to relax. Oh, snap! Saray, let's set up the sauna! Eh, maybe later. Come on, don't be such a buzzkill! We men need to be open and comfortable about things like this. You know, a naked relationship. Well, you are always half naked, Zavid. I may look like an exhibitionist when it comes to my body, but the door to my heart is always closed. That's why I wanted to take this time to bond with you. You know, like, as an accomplice. Don't tell me you're going to read the wind to snoop around the girl's sauna. Oh ho! You're pretty sharp after all, you no-good shepherd, you. I don't think this is a good idea. Someone's definitely going to notice. I don't want to grow up to be the kind of guy who views everything as a win-or-lose situation. The trickling sweat, the flushed red cheeks. There is a healthy, sublime beauty in this closed space we call a sauna. Saray, let's go hunting for babes. Ah, <sighs> that sure was therapeutic. Why don't you guys step in as well? You mean like this? That's not the kind of babe hunting I'm talking about! Huh? Oh, Shabby. Ah. Uh, okay, that was a good one. You know, got half the load of gas, right? Is that church? It's not church. Sabine was cool even before that. Wait. I see purple. Why is there purple? Why is there purple? What is the Night Squad thinking? Ten people have been killed already, and they haven't a single clue. Please calm yourselves. We are doing our best to find the culprit. But that means nothing if you can't catch him! There's a murderer on the loose! I understand your concern, but please believe us. I swear on my honor to find the culprit. Huh. Rumor has it you have your eyes on a different kind of honor. Isn't that right, Captain? Starting to butt into politics more, aren't you? So that's what this is about. Of course, political power is more important to you than citizens' lives! No! I would never do such a thing! Everyone, the affair with Cardinal Fortin is still under investigation, and the knights are shorthanded as a consequence. These knights are only human, too. Please, don't judge them so harshly. Thank you so much for your kind words, Father Amathor. 
Humans are weak, and we must all acknowledge that evil lies in the people's hearts, especially those who allow themselves to fall to their own arrogance. Indeed. We are weak creatures, but that is all the more reason for me to work harder. As expected of Captain Sergei, salvation shall come your way when you are in need. I do apologize, but such is the situation. I must go join the search squad. I wonder, could Hellions be behind all these murders? Let's check it out. Oh, it's, it serves itself way over here. It is kind of butts that can make the, um, the Iris gems magnet hoary. Like, they didn't seem like they were magnet hoary, like, ever. Like, why would you do that? Work, work yourself. Four and oh. They're all related, huh? Ah! Oh, yes! They're all related, all the Medusas. Both of the Medusa-type Hellions are... They're probably Cardinal Fortin's sisters. Are you sure? It seems like too much of a coincidence. Well, the only way to learn the truth is to ask the Hellions themselves. But how? If we're right, then I'm guessing they've gone back to their hometown. A gut feeling? Sort of, yeah. Just a hunch based on how humans think. Well, it's not impossible, psychologically speaking. <laughs> Halfway logic is better than no logic at all. And Rose's gut hasn't led us astray yet. But we can't go there right now. Glavin Basin is currently closed off. So, we'll have to sit tight and wait for an opportunity, huh? I got Angel Wing? Oh my god. Alright. So now what do I do? Can't get. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there is already got four that go to. Hi. Haven't tried it myself, but I'm sure it's tasty. 
Let's drink all gorge. A jeweler who handles iris gems, huh? Let's head for Western Bolt Gorge. Okay. I guess we're going to Western Bolt Gorge first. So, this would be quite you'd be forced to do all of the ruins, huh? They love me, they love me not. They love me, they love me not. They love me... What is it you're trying to find out? You know how I joined halfway, and like, after I did a bunch of not-so-nice stuff to you guys? I kinda wonder if everyone hates me. Well, what did you find out? Well, it looks like... Yeah, everyone pretty much hates me. Oh, come now. Saray and the others aren't like that. Yeah, he is the shepherd and all. Not to mention kind of a goody two-shoes. So maybe it's kind of meaningful that a guy like me tags along. Even if I'm not exactly welcomed. Then I'll do a little reading myself to see if you're truly welcome among us. A paper flower? That means there's only one petal. Zavid is our... friend, it says. Uh... <laughs> it's just some dumb fortune. Maybe, but my fortunes are never wrong. That is true. That was a cute little skit. Hey, Rose! Oh, I just gotta ask around town for this bit. So let's ask around town for this. And then we'll go and West Grimble Gorge. Iris gem. Oh. I think I get that one already. Looking for more people to talk to. Hello. See, it's a good thing I did come down this way. Anyone else? There's a couple people here. There's gotta be something else I'm missing here. Hi! Sounds like this Hellion is nocturnal. Let's wait until nightfall. Something just doesn't feel right. What is it? How should I know? It's just a gut feeling. Gonna be a night time fight. I didn't have to use the inn yet. Is 
So who do I get a murder tonight? <laughs> Please, allow me to murder you, dear Hellion. At least I think it's a Hellion. And now it should be night time. This gives me the creeps. It's like something's going to pop out. Hmm. Did I scare you? No. I just have a bad feeling is all. Oh no, Lila scare. We don't want that. Where am I going? Half the things pop out of the middle of the night is kinda scary. What am I looking for? Oh, good! This is gonna be back down here! Thank you, Sucky, for the donut. Wait, it's over here at the castle? The castle? Saray, over there! The culprit's inside the church! Am I gonna fight the sisters? The killer? Why did he go into the church? Oh. Are they dead? This is not death, but salvation, good Seraph. I have purified the evil. He he heard my voice? Why so surprised? You were the one who showed me the way in my dreams time and time again. That the world's salvation was my sworn duty. You call this salvation? This is massacre! The blame rests on them. They could not admit their own weakness. Instead, they would blame their own country, the knights, even the church for their own blasted misfortune. Such disgusting vermin. What would you call their illness, if not malevolence? Are you serious? Quite, I assure you. This world is so hopelessly smitten with malevolence. If I do not dispose of the evil ones, there can be no future. It may seem cruel, I know, but it must be done. That is my sworn duty. Lila, is he? No, he's not a Hellion. Father Amathor, you are under arrest for mass murder. <laughs> you assume I can be bound with the laws of man? How foolish. But then again, who could blame you? I am all too aware that your brother was killed by Cardinal Fortin in an attempt to fight her. <sighs> he must have been but a weakling who could do nothing but blame his misfortunes on the church. And oh, you poor soul, who's been working so hard to atone for his sins, your heart is truly worthy of salvation. How dare you! Enough, Soray. What he says isn't far from the truth. Of course it isn't. Please, confide in me what troubles you. After all, it is my duty to save lost lambs like yourself. Sore, Seraphim, I beg of you, please, don't abandon us humans. A 
않나요? 그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그그
Why is your frame weak and resistant to fire? Stop being resistant to fire. You act on instinct way too much. Oh? Did your instincts tell you that? Marker? This place is a lot more dangerous than I thought. We need to find him. Quick. What was that? Are you that archaeologist? You... You just cut through those walking stones! It's not like that. It's called a heli... Stay away from me, you monster! Uh... What's the deal? We came to save you! We're really after the Iris Gem. True, but Saray isn't just about that. Hey. Well, at least he's okay. Yeah, I guess. But still! Look, there's the Earth in Historia. That researcher dropped it. Well, well. Looks like we got a souvenir out of it. Is this really okay? Of course it's all right. Okay. He tried to kill himself, so many times, and yet, in the end, none of it worked. But wait, that's weird. You'd think at least one of them would have stuck. He probably wasn't serious about it. He sure as heck looked serious about it. Yeah, it really felt like he wanted nothing more than to die. I'm guessing this isn't a coincidence either. Hard to say. The more we learn, the more mysteries we find. That's pretty much how the world works. How many iris gems are there? Why? I can't why? Oh, I gotta find the guy. Wait. Why can I not teleport? All right, cutscene. I want to go up there, I guess. Go away. Cutscene where, though? That's the problem. How's this for a start? 
I don't know, Lila. I don't know what you made. Too bad, though. We didn't get to hear his stories about the ruins. It's all right. Even if we'd have met with him, he probably wouldn't have listened to your ideas. It's fine. But what we know is based on our own thoughts. After experimenting firsthand. Even if our conclusions are different. I'll say. Hey! Quit lollygagging, you nerds! Rose is still mad at us. You know it's because she cares. I know. I know. I'm cool with it. You guys are quite a team. Come on! Put some hustle into it! Coming! Coming. Chocolate Rusk! Okay, now can I teleport? Okay. I need to go to... Um... One less good place, Cole. Right, it was that place, or a guy. Guy. Where's that at? Way up there. Get out of my way, rock! Take it to the weaponsmith in Logren. Yeah, you're gonna have to get mithril stuff, I guess. I'm probably not gonna have the money for it. I went the wrong way. Where is the exit? There's the exit. Alright, back to the place. Logren. That's a maven. Mithril stuff. Hypervelocity boots! I'm gonna buy that. And I guess I'll buy some Mithril earrings. Earrings suck. These boots suck. A weapon of Mithril. I can feel its immense power just holding it in my hand. Does seem like a bit of a waste, though. You do realize how much that sells for, right? I think this right here is a better investment. Weapons symbolize the spirit of adventure. <laughs> So you're a real man after all, Sheps. Spirit of adventure? 
Huh? Was I off? What do you mean, then? Just... This is something we were only able to obtain because we traveled to every corner of the world. So this weapon is one of the answers our journey led us to. Oh, I get it. Ugh, I should've known. You're still an incorrigible choir boy. Huh. You should be grateful, Zavid. If he'd been following your example, they'd have chucked all the mithril into the ocean for the good of humanity. Undoubtedly. Alright. So, we got that. Um, not looking like you. Thank you, Rose. I can call him Maven. Wait. Oh, yeah! A uh, West Group. I want the wrong thing. West Group. Um, somewhere around here. No, there. Green goblins everywhere. More green goblins. That's terrifying. Stand strong, burning red. A goblin lord, which means that it's totally awesome at riding that thing. Figured you'd say that. Let's do some fortune telling. Please pick one. Alrighty. Nicleo and Edna will have excellent luck. Wait, what about me? Well, that was simple enough. Boom! Earth and Historia! Yeah, and uh, snakes and stuff. Everyone okay? Stupid snakes.
And that was the moment that Heldolf, the Lord of Calamity, was born. He was a human being once, just like us. Unbelievable as it is. Yes, he may have been a cold military leader, but he had genuine love for his family. How could someone like him turn into the Lord of Calamity? Well, he did lose his family. I don't know. It felt like more than anything that happened to him, the transformation was born of his own resolve. Could be. It's probably not anything we can ever truly understand. But I can tell this much. Heldolf finally gave up. He couldn't fight back any longer. There's still more iris gems to be found. But where? Where? Where are the other iris gems? Oh, now we go out to Maven. Think this is all of the Earth in Historia? But we're still missing something crucial. How did Heldolf end up that way? Well, we know all too well what hardship he's been through. Whoa there, chefs. Don't tell me you're sympathizing with him. Is it sympathy? I can't even tell. Sheesh, Lila, this is cruel. I liked it better when he was a faceless bad guy. You can chop those to bits guilt-free. I'm sorry. But really, though, it's tough. How are we supposed to figure out the right thing to do? Well, is Lila even telling Saray to find the right answer? Or... Oh! oh! Zavid! Dang, sorry. So now what? Just standing around talking like this isn't going to solve anything. Let's go back to see Maven. Right. He's probably organized his thoughts by now anyway. These oh, enemies! Leave me alone, dude! Everyone, are you alright? I swear to God! I just want to see the skin. Well done, everyone. I think I'm vaguely starting to get it. There's some connection between Heldolf and the shepherd who came before me. I see. So Lila avoided speaking about it directly by asking Maven the storyteller to help her out. Ouch! Damn it, that's not what you use an umbrella for. <laughs> You have no idea how the mind of a lady works. Hm. Ouch! That hurts! Dang, what an ice queen. <laughs> Ouch! Dang! She's not playing around! Thanks, David. We needed someone to break the tension. Oh, -ho. I think our Rose might be in love. Don't get your hopes up. Aww. Let's hurry to Logren. I'm sure the old man will be waiting for us there. Quite rare that we're ever in the same place that Maven is. For sure. I mean, he's an explorer and all. Is there any real reason why, though? You really need to ask? I guess there's no point in worrying about it. Yep. Like they say, fear is often greater than something something. Greater than danger, you mean. Alright, I will be right back in just a second.
Alrighty then. Um, what was I doing? Alright, I was going back to see Mr. Maven Guy. So let's go see Mr. Maven Guy. After I use the inn. Fishy Swash. Think I'm feeling a bit tired today. Yeah, there's no shortage of things we need to do. Now we have the Earth and Historia, and the Storyteller to deal with as well. The world we live in is full of secrets and mystery. I hear you. It's really frustrating being pushed around and intentionally kept in the dark like this. Yeah, but isn't that kind of natural? What do you mean? Ain't nothing but secrets in the world of merchants. The market, guild rules, networks, conveyance routes, all kinds of things you can't say in bid riggings. Every day is a battle against secrecy. I see. Yeah, you're right. In our case, that secrecy is all over Maltellus and his past history. Of course it is. I am a shepherd after all. And you like it, don't you? Of course! He's not kidding. Well, as long as you understand. Okay, let's keep up the never-ending battle against secrecy. So how's everyone doing in chat? We all doing good? Well... I have no idea how close I am to the end of the game. You can't wait a second there, Maven. Find anything? We know that Heldolf was stricken with a great deal of pain and hardship. It seems almost like some kind of curse. I can see that. Bound to the curse that is eternal loneliness. Hmm. During our most recent encounter with him, he taunted Saray, preying on his emotions and trying to bait him into becoming a fallen shepherd. But afterwards, he reached out to Saray and tried to convince him to join his ranks. The Lord of Calamity, reaching out to the shepherd. I want to know. Just what happened to Heldolf to make him the man we see today? But that would infringe on the old man's taboo. We don't even have a clue what that really means. Maybe this is selfish of us, but still. Is there no chance you can help? Follow me. Maven, are you sure about this? There's no point in stories if we lose the future in which to tell them. No taboo is worth that fate. Safe again, just in case. Do you think I save enough of this game? I think I save enough. You never know, man. You never know what might happen. Oh, we fi oh, we're finally going inside the stupid door. This aroma. Oh man, nice! Check it out! That huge thing has carvings all over it! Is this from the era of the gods? I've never seen anything like it before. Oh boy, more fodder for our resident nerds. <laughs> What's that? You just talked about Soray. What's this I thing? Get it. This is my most impressive failure yet.
God damn it, Shabine. <laughs> what hymen you <laughs> Oh my god. Ooh, that's... Ah. That was good hymen. He's proud of that black stuff he made. Good for him. Saray, look around you. Cool, drop ball. I'm probably not gonna use those. So there's a save point right here. I don't know how I feel about that. To most people, this monument is nothing more than a lump of rock. However, the storyteller of time can harness its true capabilities. The storyteller of time? The one who passes stories to future generations. Stories of humans, Seraphim, Hellions, Shepherds, the Lord of Calamity. It is my clan to whom that fate has fallen. A storyteller is to be a dispassionate observer. He must not interfere in world events. But I am prepared to accept the consequences. Is that an earthen historia? There are more of them? The others were fine, but this one had to be shielded from the eyes of men. So I kept it for myself. Then this must be... Yes. This is a record of the dawn of chaos. Come, experience the truth of the dawning of this age. Perceive the light. Perceive the darkness. Place your hands upon the monolith. Then, close your eyes. Voroshkus were kusaresko, werek furiek ohish kehem omem. Do not ponder the answer for now. Simply feel. Understand? What happened? Where is this? I've never seen this place before. We're experiencing the dawn of chaos. So I suppose this would be... Camlon, the Origin Village! Well, might as well go on. And disagreed. Pretty big crowd here. No kidding. General, this is absurd. How long must we keep living like this? I am protecting you from the invasion by the forces of Highland. I'd expect you to be more grateful, Shepard. Huh? This guy's the previous Shepard? You have occupied our village for half a year now. This isn't protection, it's house arrest. Not to mention, the Kingdom of Highland is only acting against us because Roland's moved their army here in the first place. Looks like they can't hear us. The Earth in Historia shows that which has transpired. The strategic importance of this location cannot be overlooked just because the Shepherd founded a village here. You can trust Highland would say the same. What, so it was inevitable? When one considers the rise of the Highland Valkyries, yes. I've had enough. Just leave us. Michael! Are you really okay with this? Those bastards are treating Lord Maltellus' shrine as their own fortress! How much longer must they blaspheme the Seraphim? Brother? It's okay, Muse. He's right that Camelon happens to be a strategically crucial location, given that we're here along the northern border. An army that controls this territory can send troops to the enemy's capital at will. Their interest in our land is sad, but understandable. Do you really trust the words of that tyrant? 
They will do as they will. We must focus on what we believe in. As a lone shepherd, with no other family in the world to call his own, I vow to protect Muse and everyone else. I swear it. So the Origin Village was occupied by Heldolf. And then dragged into the chaos of war. Still, you can understand why neither army could leave it alone. Ugh. Is something wrong, Miklia? Huh? Oh, well... The humans were treating Maltellus with scorn and contempt. No wonder his blessing was lost. But there's probably more to the story. Let's head towards the shrine. Right. Could it be Rollins has noticed Michael led Lord Maltellus away from the capital? No. Much more likely it's just a feint to draw out the forces of the Northern Territory. They just want a pretext to declare war. This is absurd. Thoroughly absurd. But that's humans for ya. You said it. The more things change, the more they stay the same. According to what the Shepherd said, the Shrine is full of malevolence, and the village is beginning to lose its blessing. Oh no, is Maltellus going to become a Hellion? Let us put faith in the Shepherd. He said he would never allow that, even should it cost him his life. But still, if the Shepherd would be lost anyway, wouldn't it be better for us just to evacuate while we can? There's no way that someone like Michael could ever do such a thing. Right. He's the Shepherd. He couldn't just abandon Maltellus and let him succumb to malevolence. Saray. If this podunk town can serve as the key to successful conquest of the Northern Territory, then I can suffer the ire of one measly shepherd. What is it? An enemy attack! The Northerners have arrived! No! It appears to be the Highland Army! I will not rise to their bait. Assemble the troops. We shall retreat. We will make no counterattack! Would you have me throw men away on some meaningless skirmish with Highland? Don't be an imbecile. Guess this town is destined for the scrap heap after all. Have the order to retreat given at once! Unbelievable! Doesn't he care about the happiness of the villagers? This trivial nonsense is what got the entire village wiped out? <sighs> Saray! Knowing we can't do anything to intervene just makes it worse. What on earth is Heldolf doing? Heldolf abandoned the village and fled. Filthy Roland scum! Sneak into the mountains, will you? <laughs> There's more over here! How could this happen? Shepard, Muse has gone to the shrine! What? To beg the Roland's army for assistance! But Heldolf's already run away! Muse, please be safe! Hurry to the shrine! Right. As a fellow shepherd, you feel strong empathy toward him. That is normal. But please, do not forget what Maven told us. <sighs> you too, Miklio. I'm sorry. It's just... We can already tell this isn't going to end well. We've learned more than enough here to put the pieces together at this point. But we still need to see this through, don't we? Let's go. Right. Miklio looks out of character, 
to say nothing of Saray. Well, of course. He was bound to notice before too long. Yeah. When you add in the fact that none of this is heading for a happy ending. We all picked up on it. Mikleo, Muse, and the Shepherd all look too similar not to. Let's go. We're very close to the whole truth. He's alive. Oh, he's alive. But, oh my god! Now tell us. All is lost. Now tell us his brother Helian. And this, this innocent child. All due to the insipid ambitions of one man. Brother, wait! This misfortune, I grant the eternal solitude! No! Heltoff, live now and forever in a hell of your own making. This is my answer. So, they anticipated our retreat. You are the Valkyries, I take it? Lightning? General! Heldolf, prepare yourself! What on earth? So that's what went down. So Kitty Beard didn't become a Hellion. He was made one. One bearing the most terrible curse there could possibly be. And the one responsible for it was the previous Shepherd. So then, I... Is this the same village? If it's not over yet, then there must be more to it. It's not over, huh? Mikleo. We gotta be close to the end. Shouldn't we just take a quick gander before we head back? <sighs> you look pretty bummed out by this. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm not more bummed out myself, I mean. You don't need to apologize for that. Hmm. Whenever a friend of mine is down, if I'm not feeling the same way, I always feel like... maybe something's missing from me. It's just like he said, Rose. There's nothing you need to apologize for. In fact, uh... yeah. Sorry. So, huh? If anything, we should be the ones sorry for making you worry so much. We just need a little more time to get our feelings sorted out. We'll be fine. You can count on it. Gotcha! My goodness! What happened? Such thick malevolence. I feel sick. 
malevolence of this impossible magnitude can only mean one thing. Not now, tell us. Born far too early by the looks of it. Poor mother and child. Neither of you deserved this. Perhaps this too is fate. That child's human! Are we not all the same when we first breathe this air, save for the vessel we chance into? But a child born so premature won't last but a few months. Probably so. Zenrus! Muse! My goodness! What happened here? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We have to seal off the malevolence before it drifts into Elysia. Who's that child? S Celine's? Could it be she... She was with child? In order to contain Mount Tellus within this land, you would be the sacrifice to seal the path to Elysia? But Mount Tellus is using the land itself as his vessel. Even if we can trap him here, it would be no more than empty consolation. I understand, but even so, this is something that we humans have brought upon ourselves. And the Shepherd? I take it that the Shepherd has finally fallen? That may be so, but fate has blessed us with a thread of hope. You don't mean to say you will raise these children to become the Shepherd and his sub-lord? For a human and a seraph child raised together, anything is possible. However, it all depends on these children. I humbly accept your two small beacons of hope. Gramps! Zenrus, I have not the words to thank you! Farewell, my dearest child. Leo. <laughs> Gramps! So, Saray, you were a survivor from that village. And our boy Mickey was refashioned into a seraph. So I was a sacrifice. You can cry if you want. Why would I cry? I'm surprised, to be sure, but I'm not sad. And now we know where Mount Hellas is. Now the only thing left is our answer. Right. So does this mean we've found it? I know now what path I want to take. Though I'm not sure that counts as an answer. Very well, then. Let's consult with Maven once more. Hey, where'd he go? Just a little while ago, he was activating the hidden powers of this monolith. He's probably still around here somewhere. You're right. Let's go look for him. Come to think of it, I wonder how this monolith works. How do you think it activates the Earth and Historia? Probably because this is an Earth Pulse Nexus, don't you think? Earth Pulse? <laughs> I'll let Terror Firma herself do the explaining. The Earth Pulse is a manifestation of the power of Mother Nature that permeates the Earth. Exactly! Logren has been known for centuries as a spot where several branches of the Earth Pulse intersect. If you're already such an expert, why call on me? Because when you say it, it's that much more adorable. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. So, the Earth in Historia is reacting to the Earth Pulse. Um, could you repeat that in English for dumb bums like me? Well, um... Okay, let's say instead that there's all this water bubbling up here. 
then the earth in Historia would be like a water wheel. When the wheel goes round, it grinds out the record of history, just like it was milling grains. Oh, okay. Makes sense to me. But then why are the earth and Historia behaving like a water wheel? Uh, probably... I told you. The earth pulse is the power of the earth. Oh, I see. So if Maltellus made the earth and Historia, and he's using the earth itself as his vessel... Then probably it's the force of his will that's making them do that. What a sad turn of affairs. There was more to it than just Heldolf and the Shepherd Michael. So many factors converged to bring about that disaster. What happened to that village was so ghastly, you can sort of see how Michael finally came to do what he did. But still, no one except maybe his closest friends ought to buy I was in the depths of my despair as an excuse. Right. The actions he took that day changed the fates of millions. That's true. It was his thoughtless curse of eternal solitude that paved the way for Kittybeard to become the Lord of Calamity. Without the curse, Old Sourpuss never would have hated the world so much. Never would have wanted it to turn into a world of Hellions. You can't blame the people of Highlander Rollins for seeing him as a monster. But I get the sense that deep down, in his own misguided way, he just wants to bring peace to his country. Some of the blame, too, has to go to the former Shepherd for keeping secret the fact that he'd spirited Mautelis away. Because of that, folks who didn't know the true situation wound up desecrating the shrine and causing Mautelis to transform into a Hellion. That's right. If they'd only talked about it more openly, there might have been better understanding and cooperation. It also looks like the former Shepherd didn't really trust anyone other than his own flesh and blood. To those who believed in the Shepherd, I can think of no greater wound. True enough. He may have genuinely wanted every one of them to be happy, but if he never shared this desire with anyone, then... Regardless of Michael's circumstances, it doesn't change the fact that what Heldelf did was unspeakably cruel. That he would toss strangers to the wolves just to further his own interests. None of this comes down to black and white, that's for sure. Well, Maven told us just to feel and experience what had happened. We'll go tell him what we felt. back. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. A useful understanding to reach. Now, your answer. Saray, let us hear your answer to this. My answer? is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Dunno if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him, but I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and Seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you... Really are an idiot. Yep. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. 
That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Put bluntly, yes. In order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Show me how that is done. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time? You can't be talking about... How to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me! Don't hold back! I certainly won't! But... but... Even if there is a way to sever the bonds of strength... And if we were to actually use it... Then, what would happen to you? Do you see why it is you waver? Settle this, Shepard! Do not let Maven's conviction go to waste! That's not well backing. to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own, and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> you won't admit it. After all, to demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option withheld off as well. But Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. Saray. Rose. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. All the more so if it is your friend's lives in question. 
But if you do waver, and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way does virtue become vice. <sighs> but if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, Saray. If you intend to make this a first, then I shall end it. Show me, not just with words, but with the spirit of belief. I shall end it. No one It is a damn shame, Lila. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. So, it was all for naught. No, just a little bit more. Even when they resented their own helplessness, even when they grieved for a fallen comrade, even when evil schemed to lead them astray, Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here, together! You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. It shouldn't be new to you. Edna... Zavid... It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Let's go! Come at me! We! You drop the leg! Don't just charge Look in there! Look out! Maven! This is... My answer! Old man! Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it, but... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot, too. You're not wrong, but I have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please, do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer, and in my friends, and for their sake I will not waver in what must be done. So there will be no regrets. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, you... <sighs> never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you.
Let's go. To Camlon? Yeah. Maltellus should still be there. Let's make for Alicia first. There should be a road there leading to Camlon. We saw Gramps come running when the village fell. Oh, that makes sense. So Camlon was close to Alicia. Very likely. That fits with the idea that it was a strategically important location for Highland, Rollins, and the Northern Powers. Yeah, good point. But it looked to me like the road to Camlon was sealed off. Yeah, by my mother. You can cry if- I told you I'm not going to cry! Looks like this is the final battle. Let's end this. Right on! That's not something I was expecting. Maven. I did not know that he had a curse too. Side quest up there now, who? Hmm. So if we cut the tie between Mountellus and Heldolf, we'll be home free, right? I'm not so sure about that. He's strong enough to use the Earth itself as a vessel. Will that really be all that it takes? Right. We'll probably have to purify all the malevolence attached to the land as well. Is that right, Lila? She sells seashells by the seashore, yep! She, she sells, sells seashells, seashells by, by the, the seashore. seashore! He's got to be doing that on purpose. Originally, he was the one who would purify the land. His power was the blessing of the land itself. Like a natural purification of sorts, huh? Don't think that's gonna be enough this time. Certainly the activities of the shepherds also contributed to the Earth's natural purification from the outside. But now it's just Saray, and no one else. We need to have a plan of action before moving on. But all the same, we can't sit around brooding all day. For sure. Hey, Rose. You knew Maven from before, right? How did you guys meet? One time when we were being pursued, he lent us a hand. He even showed us to a hideout without asking any questions. You must be talking about Tintagel Ruins. Yep. But I never thought the inside would be like that. Hmm. What? If you got something to say, spit it out. I just thought that maybe he approached you because he knew you had high resonance. As in, like, he was out to gather information as a storyteller would. Oh. That sort of stuff, huh? That sort of stuff? Yeah. Doesn't matter to me what he was after. He helped us out, and we had a lot of fun together. That's all that matters. Do you think so, Saray? He might have had the same intent with reaching out to you, too. Hmm... Doesn't matter to me, either. To me, Maven is just the man who taught me what it means to be an explorer. Got a problem? Hey, ease up. You guys are making me look like the bad guy here. I wouldn't worry too much. You always were. Give me a break. So, that's both. Gasoline may have been gone in one stream. Boy, this is a very sober stream, isn't it?
You know what? I'm gonna make a new save file. Why is this a side quest? We just rewatch all of these and we get stuff for it.
I think I'm missing, um... I am missing some iris gems. Why is that a side quest? Let's go to... I'm gonna go... Oh, I can't just teleport. Really? Are you gonna make me actually run all the way back? Really? You're gonna make me run all the way- No. No, there's something I'm missing. There's gotta be some kind of cutscene. Right? Like, you're not gonna make me run all the way back, are you? I guess it is gonna make me run all the way back. Size alone is a threat. Watch yourself. Try this on. Wait a minute. What well, do you mean I never caught an elephant? Huh? I'm fine. Let's go on ahead. I never caught an elephant? I gotta do this because it keeps switching me around, and I don't like that. How have I not fought an elephant? Well done! So tell me. How does love make you two feel? I feel like I want this jerk to get away from me. Is that love? Oh yeah, that's love for sure. Love takes many forms. I see. Remove the ego from a love-hate relationship and what's left? Must be hate! <laughs> oh my god, I'm lying, love. Love is great for a moment. Red, freezing blue, hail and tandem! No, the ruins are coming. Anything else want to get in my way? Gotta go create Camelot Bridge, so.
Oh, so per oh, it's just flowers. You're actually gonna make me run all the way back from the game. All the way back to Alicia from here. Oh! There's story stuff happening here. with Miklia. I have snacks. Fairy. I don't want to kill with fairy. Oh good, Mer left me alone. So many things! Thank you, Sabi. Black stuff. Did you hear? Another war coming on. Yeah, looks like both Rollins and Highland are ready to take the kid gloves off. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah, and I hear it's all going down at Glavin Basin. This is too good. Damn straight. Food and weapons, medicine and coffins. We're gonna make a fortune. Another war? <laughs> this is bad. If any more malevolence collects... That's probably exactly what he wants. You mean Heldolf, yeah? Let's go take a look. Sounds like it's around Glaive and Basin. Alright! I finally found where he's located. Hey! Careful! You okay? Thank you. I'm a bit weary from my journeys. But it's time to settle the scores. Gotta hurry to the cat's corner. The turtles. He's still hurt. He's going to cat's corner, huh? Is he going to have a duel there? It's the illusionary village where cats live. <laughs> it might become a huge cat and turtle free-for-all. So, I wonder, where exactly is this Cat's Corner? I've never heard of it before. I don't know much either. We're gonna have to do some research. Hmm. Let's start by asking Seraphim who are knowledgeable about regional lore. Good idea. Guardian Seraphim are more likely to know something about the lore or legends. Still gonna make my way over to the place. You know, a place. We'll go a little bit more, a little bit more. I 
believe that's where I got the, um, Kraken. Fairies over here, I don't like that. All of my rooms. Can I still not teleport anywhere? I cannot. Well, I kinda can. Well, at this point, there's no reason to. I can get the success, I guess. There might be something nearby. Cool. Black stuff. That's exactly what I need. Where am I going? It's West Purple. It's the Metal Triumph. So let's go to the Metal Triumph. I don't even know if there's any Norman left by. I don't know how many Norman I got. If there's one thing I can say about this game compared to like Vesperia and Symphonia and the Mist is... I do like that there's not really a world map. And that each area kind of flows into one another. Kind of like Xenoblade, actually. I just don't like how massive the areas are. Kind of like in Xenoblade. It's a double-edged sword. They can lie like my cookies. was trying. Alright. Last spell's fair. Viral Clef's down fair. So off the Viral Clef. We 
big old wyverns everywhere. Not even really wyverns. Ah, go away, bird. You're nothing to me. Go ahead and save here. I don't know. I, this isn't Glaven. This isn't the place that I need to be. I think it's after this area. Viral Cliff. And... Where is it? That's Gagogan. There must be herbs around here. Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to get. Go away, bird. Alright, I made it. Good job. So what did I get? I got focus. So Ray is gonna be focused. You want to go kind of grab that herb? I gotta go over here and get a camp where you have caverns, anyways. Cause I think that's where I need to go and screw bear. These birds, man. Away, Berg. It's not the way caverns. Where am I? Got like work down there or something. I remember this place was in the celestial record. Oh cool. That's uh not what I was looking for. I'd like to get down here, but I don't remember how to get down here. I think I remember now. I gotta go all the way around. Gosh darn it! Yeah, I gotta go down there. Ugh! Well, we got a point of interest, I guess. Now I got this annoying bird following me. Go away.
This will bring me to the Metal Trium. That just brings me the Metal Trium. How do I get a viral cleft? Saray, look carefully at the ground. No one can stand but me. Sir, I guess. How's this for a start? How do I get back to the place? That's camping at caverns. That's viral cleft. Um. Um. Hmm. It's all the way up there. I gotta go through... Laskin Bell? Okay. Let's go with the inn. So this thing was a tool used to defeat the Lord of Calamity. Well, whatever it's for, with Mautelis and Heldolf all fused together, it stands a chance of working. Zavid, did you willingly give it to Saray knowing that information? Oh, snap, you got me figured out! Not. I just thought that'd be cool to say. It's like I told you, just a hunch. It's not like I'm some kind of prophet or whatever. I mean, what exactly is this thing? How did you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Where, you ask? I forgot. It's a little hard to swallow that it's just a coincidence, don't you think? Well, believe it, don't believe it, whatever. That's how the world works. All right, I won't ask anymore. But sometimes, your will creates chances for certain things to happen. You want to know what they call that? Destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, in any case, it's yours now. How you use it is all up to you. Whether what happens after you pull that trigger is coincidence or destiny is up to me, huh? Alright! Okay, yeah, Vulgar Forest. So we go from here... ...and... ...Glaven is so fair. I want that. There may be some herbs out here. Be on the look. I like that. Look out for them.
Rare <laughs> Harpy. I can't even see you. Pop out? No? Alright, so we're gonna go over here and save right outside. Let's murder you. Let's do this! Sweets are best after exercise, yes? Something super sweet! And with that, I will say, until next time, everyone. We're going back to the Glaven Basin. Bad things are probably gonna happen. Lots of story stuff happened, finally. We now know the truth about Soray and Miklio, which I don't even think I was explained from anime at all. So that's, uh... Yeah. That certainly is something. So until next time, everyone, whatever that may be.